Okay, so now we're here with Elena Davies. Hi. Elena, it's honestly hard for me to do an intro to you because I feel like you do so many things. You've been on the radio. You yeah. used to work with Kiss FM. And then you went on to reality TV. Now you're an influencer and you have the miscellaneous podcast. And I was like reading this article that The Observer did on you. The Dallas Observer? Yes. And they were That's one of my like favorite articles. 2018. Yeah, that's yep. one of my favorite articles that's been posted about me. Mm -hmm. And it was like, Elena Davies is building herself as an influencer and she's transitioning and taking her reality TV. It's like, it was talking about how strategic you're being. And then when we spoke after the Fearless Conference, you were like, yeah, like a lot of people have offered me these deals and I haven't taken them because I want to be authentic speak to that if I if I'm going to be handed a platform mm -hmm. I want to do something with it that I would want it to do for me and my whole story of getting into radio is long and weird and wild but I love it I got connected with the Kid Craddock Morning Show just from being a, a listener mm -hmm. and which is amazing because they have so many listeners what's wild is I was going through a really hard breakup and I started noticing that the only time I was laughing and smiling during the day was when I was listening to the show. Yeah. And so I was like, well, I'm going to take advantage of that opportunity. So I just played it right when I got up, right when I was yeah. getting in the car, right when I got to work. Like every platform I could find it on, I was putting it on until I was like mentally stable to finish my day. Yeah. And then that's how Kid found me because I was a fan of the show and I interacted with him on social media. And so he saw something in me. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> you're like hilarious and you're such a personality. Of, like it makes sense. But it, I mean like that's know. such a wild thing that but happened. The only reason it's surprising is because the sheer number of people trying to get in there and the fact that someone would find you on social media via when Twitter is I truly was trying to be on the show. Like, yeah, the, that's like, what's the biggest amazing. The honor I had was like Kid Craddock followed me I'm yeah like, he like responds to my you like you thought like that was cool I was like and man I peaked <laughs> it's all right, downhill right. from here folks <laughs> and then the next level was like you coming on the show yeah. didn't we start by doing like bits with you yeah and, just little bits kind of getting yeah. my like pinky toe in the door mm -hmm. and just like trying to break down a hinge so how did you feel how did you feel that time like uncomfortable were you, but were you excited? I was excited, you but I was yourself? terrified. Okay. It didn't, it didn't seem real. And then, all, I mean, I hate to say this, but the majority of people in my life are like, this isn't going to work out for you. Like, they're, they're not actually going to hire you. Who are these people? And I was like, That's sit down, nice. take a seat. That's them coming from their tuned. fear. Right, yeah. yeah. No. And I just was so determined that, like, once I got that little ounce of opportunity, that I was going to make the most of it. Yeah. And I'm a big... Big proponent of create your opportunity. Like people are handed things. I've I've been resentful my whole life watching people be handed things that I wanted or that I felt entitled to. I can create that. I mean, you can if you, if you really you're really firing want me to. up. I'm like feeling it right here. Like yes. Like even creating so even your own opportunity. Fast forward a few years, I was on Kid Craddock Morning Show. I had my own podcast with them. I got I got an opportunity to be on Big Brother on CBS, mm -hmm. and I was like sitting back thinking. You know how many people are going to slide through my emails offering me radio show jobs and like a whole podcast network? Nobody offered me anything. Really? No. So, okay. So, so when what you did I do? Offer... I created my opportunity. I made my podcast on my own, by myself, without help. Mm -hmm. I did it 100% alone. And I felt better about that. Once people started to see my momentum, they're like, hey, can we like take so much of your money? No. No, I already did this. I'm yep. already here. Yep. Where were you when I was starting? Mm -hmm. You didn't believe in me then, but now you see that I'm moving. You don't need to be a part of my team. So it's, I mean, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, I could feel bad about not being offered opportunity or I can go out of my way and spend my money and believe in myself and do what I can to create the opportunity that I want. And that's what I did. And that's how I felt with Kid Craddock. I was so uncomfortable. I was so outside of my comfort zone. People, I think, see me and think, big personality. She's got this. She's never she's never intimidated. Not true. I thought that, too. Just to be honest, I really did. I was like, Elena was made for entertainment. I bet she's never been nervous in her life. Like, when you're in your comfort zone, it's easy to be comfortable. Yeah. And unfortunately, a lot of people are in uncomfortable positions feeling comfortable. Like, not living their passion, not creating Ooh. their opportunity, not doing what they really want to do. That was a they're good one. They're in their comfort zone, mm -hmm. but what they are failing to realize is that they are actually uncomfortable there because they're not fulfilled, they're mm -hmm. not happy, they're not doing what they want to do. Right. And Ooh, I that's think, a good way to look at the comfort zone, like, flip it on its yeah, side. Yeah. Like, like, it's actually not comfortable. It's, it's awful. You can feel really comfortable sitting on the couch every night, eating what you want, but, not like, are you actually uncomfortable yeah. with it? 
probably, probably super uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. You're not taking care of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's, it's, it's wow. just, a, it's a, a mindset shift mm-hmm. and it took, I, I will say I'm disappointed in myself for how long it took me to get to the point where I was like, I'm ready to create my own opportunity. Like I'm ready to put myself out there and risk something and invest in myself because at the end of the day, while I'm not a hundred percent comfortable all the time and I'm not always feeling so confident in myself, I do believe that I am made for entertainment. Mm-hmm. I really do. I think I have a lot to offer women in my, just women in general, but like my age range, I think I have a lot to offer. I think I'm funny and I think I'm great. Mm-hmm. And guess what? I'm my biggest hype man every single day because no one is going to believe amazing. in me more than I believe in myself and no one is going to stand by me and support me and push me and and do any of that more than I am. So if like mm-hmm. if I'm not my biggest hype man, then I don't have a hype man. I have people that root for me when it's convenient for them, when it benefits them, yeah. you know, on their, t- on their timetable. But 100% of the time, I'm rooting for myself. Where do you think that came from? Were you like that your entire life? No. Is this a new thing? Um, because there are probably a lot of people watching right now like, that's awesome. Like, you're your own hype man. Like, I wish I could be that. But they don't f- feel it inside. How, like, how can you advise? Please advise. <laughs> Please advise. Um, Please advise. <laughs> you know, I think it's, it's taken me years. I'm almost 29 and it's taken me being in really heartbroken stages in in being stronger than I realized stages and picking myself up when I thought I had nothing to pick up Mm -hmm. in overcoming things like it's taken me being true to who I am in situations where it would be easier not to be and just being really cool with how I was made and if you don't like it then I'm not for you but I promise you I am for some people Oh I am for some people, it, so I'm good with it, and yep. it, I'm not going to be everybody's favorite person. I'm a little polarizing. I jot that down in my diary every night. I know who I am, but I've just finally accepted it. However, that doesn't mean that I have good days every day or that I feel confident in myself mm-hmm. every day. As but here's but here's my 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 bigger thing. Like my biggest yeah. takeaway for for being coming from where I'm at, experiencing what I experienced from Kid Craddock himself. And then turning my life into being an influencer and being impactful to people, mm-hmm. I want to be what I was, what, what kid was to other people. Like oh my gosh, how he was beautiful. to me is what I want to be for other people. So like everyone's going to have a mediocre job at some right. point. Everyone's going to go through loss or heartbreak or your cat's going to get sick. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> hate when that happens. Hate when my cat gets but it's, sick. It might happen to you guys. So. <laughs> I don't have a cat, so it's not gonna happen to me. Brace yourself. I, and- but at any point in time, I want to be your reason to laugh. I want to be your escape. I want to, to feel like any girl can come to my page, my Instagram page, or my podcast, or if I'm on a TV show, and be like, I get her. Like mm-hmm. I connect to her. Mm-hmm. And she's keeping it real. That's the reason why you know. Even when we were joking around, you were like, I'm not your demographic, you know, because you, you do reality TV, like, right. all that I'm stuff. Like, you really want an MTV trash bag on your show. But, <laughs> but, and, and you're not. But I, uh, I just, I feel like that is a message that you put out there in such, like, a clear, strong way with your voice. And it's the truth. And that's, that's as be Zen TV as anything else. Yeah, well, I'm creating really, purpose behind yeah. what I'm doing. Like, I'm not just going on reality TV because it's super fun and easy. I promise you it's not. It's no, yeah, it's it's we've heard, it's the no. cause of a lot of my pain and it does pay my bills. So shout out to that, but it's not it's not super fun all the time. It's not mm-hmm. like it doesn't affect me and it's not like it's just straight up entertainment. Like it's a real thing that happens in my life and then I have backlash from it and I have people attacking me from it. But what I'm doing is so purposeful, and I feel so purposeful in it. Mm-hmm. Like, when I went on Big Brother, it was like, of course I want to win the money. Right. But guess what? 10 million people are watching me. What can I do for them? Mm-hmm. And it's, and it's not like I have, and I'm not saying this to, like, dog on myself. It's not like I have a lot of value. I don't have, you know, this expertise in this field or some of the, like, knowledge you have about, like, numerology or, like, you know, like. Is that really <laughs> I mean, it's valuable to me because okay. I because I gotta I gotta go somewhere to so. find it. You okay. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Anywhere that you have to look for something that that you want, that's value. But what I know I can do is like make people laugh and make people feel normal. And a human life. being mm-hmm. with highs and lows. Yeah, I have them both. Yeah. And I I felt purposeful with what I've already mentioned, like wanting people to laugh at me, wanting to be their escape. But then joining the world of like social media influencer mm-hmm. and like being famous right. and all that stuff, people put you on a pedestal that's just so unnecessary. Mm-hmm. Am I going to take 80 photos and post my favorite one? Yes. 
Yeah, I'm not a monster. That's like what everyone does. Yeah. Everyone does I'm not that. A monster. However, I'm I'm also going to post <gasps> oh, okay. real content. I'm mm-hmm. gonna post real moments. I'm gonna post my vulnerabilities. I'm gonna post my really good days, something that made me laugh. Like I'm just posting it all because it's all happening. I don't want to give you my highlight reel. I want to give you the real, all of it, 100% of it. Oh so gosh. if I'm crying, you know about it. Yep. If I'm super happy, you know about it. But I'm not better than anyone because I was on a show because I was handed an opportunity. I'm the same as you. And if you come to my page and you follow me, you should feel normal. You should feel like I get her. Do you know how rare you are, though, in this world? I'm not talking about, like, I'm talking in this world. You are a very rare person you're you're a gem and like you for you to say that stuff in in the position that you're in in the society and the culture we live in I know you you like seriously I keep going back to like you think you're not be zen tv or whatever <laughs> you are like probably like the height of this because you have no. the ability and the opportunity to not care about other people at all mm-hmm. right to just be like I'm gonna soak it up I'm gonna enjoy the social media fame I'm gonna just have all the attention on me and you choose to take your platform and the people that listen to your podcast and the people that love you and you choose to show both sides the influencers and the bloggers and the people that have the fame and the money and the doctors mm-hmm. to look a certain way on social media. That, right. that, that was in style for a while. And the doctors, yeah. Guess what's coming back in style? Being real. Authenticity. Yeah. Here's my issue with it. Mm, the issue. We are now experiencing people online that are so self-love and They're too so authentic. positive yeah. and t- so authentic that it's almost it's like real. you're doing the same effect Mm -hmm. like every day you wake up and you love your stretch marks and you love your curves and you love your body and like you're so positive and nothing gets you down sis that ain't real nobody's like that nobody can do like you you need help (laughs) you need help but (laughs) the next day I'm back at it again or even two hours later it's just that's life you're gonna have sad days you're gonna have confusion you're gonna have uncertainty you're gonna have heartbreak but you're gonna have happiness too so I want people to start embracing both sides Mm -hmm. do I love myself sometimes Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I do do I hate myself sometimes I do and that's me being honest and some people maybe are just doing a better job at it than I am but I think the, if we really take a look no, at, like, my yeah. content consumers. It's human beings are just, we're all pretty yeah, much wired. we're just all struggling. The same, yeah. We're not having perfect days. Mm-mm. We're not feeling the best all the time. No. So if you're having a bad day, it doesn't, I'm not getting online to get sympathy. I get that from my mom. Like, Be, I'm just a normal person. It's like you're breaking that, what is it, like, called, like, the fourth wall in acting or something. You're, like, you're breaking the fourth wall. Like, people in our society have built idols out of fame and whatever you know and so they like turn on the tv and they're like oh my gosh I need to buy this or I need to to go to that plastic surgery I need to do this or whatever and like if you want to do certain things to feel better about yourself or because you enjoy it do it right it's not about judging each other but it is about realizing that like that's just an image it's curated it's it's airbrushed and it kind of kind of reflects back to what I said that would potentially make people mad Okay. Self-love is a journey. Yeah. You don't it, just it you journey. don't just get to self-love and you're there. You mm-hmm. haven't arrived. Mm-hmm. You're gonna get there and then you're gonna like go somewhere different. You're gonna have a and then you're gonna, gonna go, go down, down and up and, yeah. and then you're gonna get back to self-love again. And then you're gonna be like, well, I don't know, I'm feeling the self-love today. Mm-hmm. Like that is what it is. Yeah. So it's you are going to struggle with loving yourself, loving your life, finding happiness, perspective, mind mindset shifts mm-hmm. until you're dead. Yeah. Why do you think we have so many different authors thought leaders experts on this show it's because i'm not one of those we're trying to jot that just have instagram with a check mark by it that's all i got (laughs) no you're you you i love your message it's really it's really important um but yeah we have all these different people because it's like we all need all these tools in our toolbox to deal with what it means to be a human being and to have ups and downs and if we didn't need all these if we were all perfect already if we were all completely zen or whatever we wouldn't need these interviews. We would all be just living our best life, smiling and life every day. life would probably be like really boring, if we're life. being honest. And it's, yeah, it's like a series of highs and lows. It's a journey. and But I think you just have yeah. to fa- like face that for what it is. Life isn't going to, like you hit a good spot in life, congrats. Stay tuned. Enjoy it, yeah. Enjoy it for a moment because things are going to shift and change. And you just have to have the tools mm-hmm. in your toolbox to handle it. And be able to find good in situations and be able to feel your feelings. I can have the followers and I can have the stories up and I can have the posts up, but that algorithm really doesn't do me any favors. You know, not yeah. everybody is seeing all of my moments. Right. Not everybody is seeing my struggles or me pulling myself up and getting to the gym on days I really don't want to. Right. Or struggling through stuff or being honest about being hurt or upset one day. But the definition of being amazing 
is being able to feel the things you feel and like accept that you having a bad moment okay live yeah. it out you pick yourself up and you mm-hmm. do the stuff you have to do you chase your passion you create your opportunity you you go to the gym when you don't want to you do the dishes when you don't want to you do life stuff that you have to do when it's easier to not do it and I think some people like this the social media world it's so skewed and even people that follow me don't see everything mm-hmm. because then you know they gotta you know do the dishes and right. go to the gym and they yeah. can go to work so they're not they're not seeing everything, but I'm seeing people in my DMs telling me like you're doing so amazing. Like how'd you get over your ex, honey? I'm not over my ex. I'm yeah. not. I'm not over him. Yeah. I'm struggling. I cried on my way here, in the car on the way here. It's fine. I cried in the middle of my workout today. But guess what? Am I still here? You are, and you are amazing, and you're inspiring all of us. <laughs> and it's it's just a matter of like kind of accepting life for what it is, mm-hmm. which seems really simple, but it's not. It's not. There are a lot of ways that you can deny it or try to escape mm-hmm. and not truly embrace what's going on in your life, the person that you are, the good and the bad. It's, it's just a weird world we live in with social media and comparison. But that's not, like, you are in control of you the content control. that you consume. Yeah. So if you're not making really intentional choices about what you're consuming, mm-hmm. man, sis, that's on you. Yeah. So, like, unfollow stuff that's not good for you. Stop listening to music that doesn't lift you up. Exactly. Which is why yeah. everyone has a purpose, you know? And that's why I can find so much purpose in what I do as a reality TV star and, like, an influencer and a podcaster, which is so millennial and so looked down upon in our day and age. But I feel purposeful, and that's all that matters. And that's and all that matters, People yep. in my DMs telling me, you got me through the worst time of my life when my mom was in the hospital. I was laughing at your stuff every day. People telling me, you being honest and vulnerable about your breakup got me through my breakup. You being vulnerable and honest about your breakup saved my marriage. Wow. Yeah. Done. That's, Happy. That's doing something. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. Right, so, yeah. like, the people that are coming into your direct messages and telling you all those things, mm-hmm. those are... Yeah, that's like that's showing you that you're you are living your purpose, no matter what that looks like to the people that don't matter. I want to talk about the miscellaneous podcast. Mm. I think we should because I'm okay. So tell me about how this podcast like came about and like what are your goals for it? Such a saturated market, but what isn't right? What yeah. isn't a saturated market? What, Everything. Like, we're is. all chasing our dreams, and mm-hmm. you know how many billions of people are on this earth chasing seven? The same dream? I think. So it many. might have been, the number maybe went up. <laughs> it might have. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't keep count. I'm doing different things with my time. Right. But <laughs> I feel like every person that goes on reality TV gets a podcast, and I'm like, <laughs> are you funny? You're like, dude, what are you doing? But you're really Can funny. Can you just sling, like, you're gonna Big rise. Tubby Tea on Instagram and, like, let me live? <laughs> yeah, you do your thing. But yeah, you're going to rise to the top. I mean, and, you know. But that's the thing. It's like, talent shows up, and it so, and, and I'm going to hype myself up, and, and I'm going to keep going regardless because I feel good about it but I um I was on the radio before I had a podcast before and so once I got on Big Brother that like Big Brother wasn't Big Brother was a a speed bump Mm -hmm. if I mean it was like cool right I get to reach more people but this isn't my life Mm -hmm. like I want to get back to what my passion is I I wanted to get back into that space Mm -hmm. and I didn't know what it meant for me I was gonna see you know what opportunities presented there were none um like maybe it's a radio show which shocks me but that's why like you know, this is, this, this is an interesting conversation because, like, that's shocking. Most people probably look at you, they're like, oh, my gosh, she probably has, like, tons of sponsors for her podcast. She's probably, like, making no. so much money. She's so famous. Look at all her Instagram followers. I just got sponsors. I just got a network. And and on my terms, like, I, I again, like, my biggest thing is, like, I want to stay true to who I am and, like, have full creative control. My content is going to be my content 100% of the time. I don't want to join up with a network that's going to push, like, some UFC fighter on my page that has 4.1 million followers just because they have followers. I don't have anything to talk to about them. Like, what do we have in common? Mm -hmm. Like, shorts don't look like that on me. So uh, what are we talking about? Yeah. Like, I would rather have my best friend on that has 400 followers on Instagram and have, like, really good, genuine conversation that's very funny and very relatable that people can laugh at. I'm not trying to like slurp up other people's followers just because they have right them. just for the sake of gaining yeah that doesn't that doesn't feel like content whatever. to me yeah. that doesn't feel authentic to feel me shell, yeah so a lot of networks and like no shade to you guys <laughs> i'm sure you're watching <laughs> i mean let's hope so to be honest, I mean, honest <laughs> that would be great like, my podcast has been up since february i've made zero dollars but you know what i am making people smile mm-hmm. people laugh content that's good 
that's inspiring. That's reaching people and connecting to people, to people and making them feel normal and good about themselves. And that's what matters. Do I want to make money from it? hundred percent. I'm again, not a monster. Like I'm in it to win it, Mm -hmm. but I would rather build it slowly and get there by creating good content and like being true to myself than make the fast bucks and like line up with companies that don't line up with me. Yeah. And so it, it's a slow build, and I've had to invest a lot of money into it. Mm-hmm. I've had to invest a lot of time into it, but so far I'm feeling like it's 100% worth it. Um, That's great. And, like, the authenticity and, like, true grinding will pay off. It will. It just will. We are manifesting it. Could like, you it better. choose to believe In what you're going to do, what you're, you're going to succeed. You, mm-hmm. choose, you refuse mm-hmm. to fail, and you're not going to fail. Yep. The only people that fail are the ones that give up. So I'm not giving up on it. And it's it's paying off. I'm getting listeners. I'm getting downloads. And um, it wasn't what I wanted it to be at first. Like, I really wanted to have a co-host. I had this whole other vision for yeah. it. How am I going to do this by myself? Like, no co-host. I think that's how it was meant no to be. No network huh? support. No nothing. And I was like, wait. Wow. I can name it miscellaneous, which is funny and cool. And you made it. And you made it happen. And, it and it's being, so you. It's the I right can't. Thing. When I when I listen to it, I can't imagine you co-hosting it with anybody because it's it's just you. It's like, how being... does a girl like me share the spotlight? <laughs> but it's it, great because like you're positive... giving something that's worth people paying attention to. I don't think it's it, it doesn't come from a bad place with you. And I'm I'm just so like I'm so happy that we met. I'm so happy that you came on I feel the like show. It was kismet. It really was. It kind of was crazy how it all happened. So yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. It, it, it was, was meant it to was be. a strange connection, but. <laughs> Now here we are. Here we are. I'm on your show. You're gonna be on my podcast. <gasps> We're great friends. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. This is this is what life is about, people. Making this is what life is connections about. in a weird way. Listen. I will probably offend you if you keep doing it. That's in okay. At some point. Yeah, it, it's but okay. It's from like a genuine place. That's why <laughs> to, I I never feel any like ill. I never feel any malintent from you, and that's part of why I just like I love you so much. I think you're you're doing exactly what you're meant to do. You're inspiring people. You're so honest. You're so real. And I'm just, I'm happy that you came on the show to share this with us. So thank you so much. Thank you for I'm being so here, Lena. Be here. I'm so happy to be here. Okay, well, cheers honor. to that. Cheers. And let it be. And let, yeah, let it be. And I didn't match this to my outfit. I really didn't. Amy, it is so good to have you back on the show. I'm so excited to be here. We're going to cheers to that. Cheers in the eyes. In the like eyes, always. always. I don't know where to start <laughs> because we have a lot to catch up on. A little bit. A little bit. Can we start with your caftan? This is it. Because that's what I'm super excited about. It's the first we've seen mm. of the line that's coming out that you're creating. First wine, now caftans. Like, what is she going to do next? Okay, my highest love language is freedom. And is that? I think that's a love language you invented, and I like it. And I, I, don't, I, I don't think it exists, but I, that's my love language. Freedom. Not in the traditional book, but no. you're free, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, if you're free, okay. you can love. Mm-hmm. That means you accept yourself. That means yes. that you love yourself. You can you understand where you are. You understand your expectations. Mm-hmm. You understand the standard, but you love the freedom part. You've really built your career and your life with you know having your feet on the ground, with getting your degree in. I'm gonna say the wrong thing. It's okay. It's okay. Chemistry. Science. Just say science. Science. Well, <laughs> bachelor, tell them so they know how smart you are. Well, uh, molecular, molecular biology was mm-hmm. my major in school and for college, and then I was epidemi- I'm an epidemiologist by mm-hmm. trade and health policy and all that kind of good stuff. I checked every single box. And then all of a sudden, I was called from my credentials mm-hmm. and I was called into the space of bigness. Universe, God said, I want more for you. Not only does I want more for you, I have more for you to do. And I want to unearth every single piece of it. And so I say, I want to leave here, I want to leave empty because I want to use every single talent, every single everything, like squeeze it all out, all mm-hmm. of it out. And all the wine. And all the wine. <laughs> Most importantly, all the sociology wine. And just be. And just be free. I want every. That's why these captains are here. And they come from Sil Sucker to see what. I was like, I feel like a unicorn. And I feel like a mermaid because I feel like I'm coming out of water. It I was, was like, like, I barely got to talk to you at that event, but I was like, oh my God, what is going on? I knew it was from your line. I was like, that's got to be from Amy's yeah. line. And so this one that you're wearing right now. This is a more subdued. This is from. <laughs> it, it's more user friendly. It, well, and, and it's from your new line that you're designing. And I remember yes. you talking about this a while back. Yes. And I remember being like, wow, Amy already has a line of wines that she sells at all these stores. And like, okay, and now we're going to caffeine. Yeah. And we talked about it. And like, it's so amazing to see that they're like, they're here. They're, they're happening. I'm excited to be working with an awesome designer here locally. She's mm-hmm. been bringing me underneath her wings and letting me use her facility. Because I was like, 
I know I have this in me, but I definitely always is really important to find really great mentorship. Totally. And someone who's walked that walk, Mm -hmm. but then you can be able to see their walk and then you can start to run. That is genius. I was like, and she it is was so like, important to find those mentors, find those people that have already been there, and you save yourself a lot of time, and you have companionship yes. on the journey. So cool to be like a real orchestra versus a one man band. Like they mm-hmm. always got booed off Apollo all the time. Yeah, and I was like, I don't want to be a one man band. And then when you win, you don't have anybody to celebrate <laughs> you're like, with. You're looking around, you're like, cheers. <laughs> Himself. So we have, <laughs> yeah, we have Amyisms now, where basically if Amy says cheers, or what was the other one? Let it be. Let it be. That, and everyone, feel free to adopt that into your own lives. Oh. That's just when you need to just move on and or Shit. you don't want to talk about something. <laughs> so from this from this beautiful creative brain, tell us about this new wine and this new wine bottle and where you're selling it and what's going on. This okay. is amazing. Okay, so I'm super excited because we're expanding. Okay. Sociology is becoming like this thing. Okay, I and love it. my goal is for everyone to be able to have their own wine. Well, it's for everyone to be able to do like something that says, you know what, I want to or, be like, a personalize wife. it. Personalize mm-hmm. it. Everything's custom. Everything's free. Like, so be free. And is this a custom? Yes. So if people want to customize their wine bottle, what do they do? You just go to www.sociology.com. Okay. You are a charity bride. You are something. You just say, you know what, I just wanted to have a wine. And so can people also customize like the, the kind flavors. they want, yes. the flavor? Just like so. Yeah, this so you exciting. allow people to really participate in the creation? Absolutely. I believe, like, every person has, like, I think wine is, like, a fingerprint. Mm-hmm. Everyone has, like, a thing that makes them them. You know, like, that's their thing. Like, you know, like, I don't do anything but cabs. I'm like, well, good for you. <laughs> it matches your outfit and your earrings perfectly, which is just another thing I love about you. <laughs> I love pink. Always, just a tip from Amy, always match your wine to your outfit. Always. In the eyes. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, just let's go have fun. Let's, let's have fun. That's what life is about. That is what life is about. Amy, thank you for being so open with us and sharing a little bit more of your story. You know, I I so enjoyed the times when you come on and you teach us how to make cocktails and you teach us about how to choose wines for a personality. And like, I mean, that is so, I've had such a blast with you. Um, But, you know, talking to us also about your struggles and your journey and where you started, I didn't know so many of those things about you and it only makes me love you more, and I'm sure everybody else feels the same way. So we're just cheering you on, girl. Oh, don't make me say cheers again. She's going to have to. She says that, which was a void. All right. Well, thank you, Amy. I love y'all. And we can't wait to have I you back you. next time for thank you. more caftans and cocktails, of course. Yes, and combo. And, and combo. We've had a combo. This episode is brought to you by Madrid Media in partnership with 19 Production House. Affordable, high-quality brand production for entrepreneurs, small businesses, and influencers. If you are a business owner, entrepreneur, uh, real estate agent, broker, booking agent, uh, chef, hairstylist, social media influencer, podcaster, you name it, and you need high-quality video production, photography, professional styling, reach out today. Stop filming yourself. That's what we're here for. Let us do it for you. Let us take you to the next level. Reach out today. We can begin to help you bridge that gap between where you are now and where you want to be. 